Welcome back my beautiful friends and followers. Today is another pie day and it's time for another one of my really yummy pies. This time I'm going to make a chocolate cream pie with a graham cracker crust and this really yummy pie is going to be gone in no time, I guarantee it. So you might as well double the recipe now. You know your friends are really going to like it too, so share it with all of your pals. Did he hit that share button? Thank you! Now let's go ahead and make some pie. Now let's go over the tools that we're going to need to make this dish. Half sheet pan, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a condiment bottle, double boiler, we're gonna need the top pan twice, a couple of mixing bowls and beaters, and this metal mixing bowl and beaters we want to refrigerate for at least an hour before, so go ahead and put them in the refrigerator now. Rubber spatula and another spatula. Can opener, nine inch high tin. You can use glass or metal. The mixer, food processor, with the cutting attachment and a blender. Now that we know what tools we're going to need, let's go ahead and go over the ingredients. For the filling, what we'll need is a box of silken firm or extra firm tofu, two cups of dairy-free semi-sweet chocolate chips, one half cup of canned coconut cream, one teaspoon vanilla, and a pinch of salt. For the graham cracker crust, what you'll need are 12 vegan graham crackers. Make sure you read the ingredients. A lot of them contain honey, one third cup white sugar, six tablespoons vegan butter like earth balance and we're going to melt this. One quarter cup of frangelico, you can leave this out if you want but trust me you don't want to. One half teaspoon of ground cinnamon and this is my mixture of one to one Ceylon and Saigon cinnamon. You also need a pinch of salt. For the chocolate sauce, what you'll need is one 14 ounce can of coconut cream. Before taking it out of the can, you wanna shake it up really good. Also, I failed to mention for the filling, when you measure out that coconut cream, make sure that you shake the can up really good first before you open that can up and measure it. That way, everything combines together and you're not just getting solids or liquids. One half cup of sugar, one third cup of cocoa powder, three tablespoons of coconut oil, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. For the vegan whipped cream, you'll need two cans of coconut cream. These you want to refrigerate at least overnight and you don't want to shake them as much as possible when you open it. Try not to shake it around. So all we're going to need is the actual solids. We don't want the liquids. One quarter cup vegan sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. Now that we know what ingredients we're going to need, let's go ahead and start cooking this. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven. Put it on 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to go ahead and pre-make our graham crackers. Go ahead and put them in a food processor like so. Add in the cinnamon. We're going to puree this up for a couple moments to break them down. Now add the quarter cup of frangelica. I have all of that blended up. Now if you're omitting the alcohol, which again, I highly suggest you don't. You can skip this step here of baking it off. So I'm gonna bake this off for 10 minutes to dry up the graham crackers that I have moistened. So I'm gonna get this spread on the pan. I'm gonna bake this in the oven for 10 minutes. And then once it's all baked, I will see you back at the counter. I have dried out my graham crackers and frangelico mixture. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a bowl. Let's go ahead and finish off the crust. One third cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, melted butter. Go ahead and get all these ingredients mixed in. I have my graham cracker crust mixture pretty much all blended together. Put this in the pie tin. Now I'm going to start to press it and make a mess. I have my crust formed around my pie tin. I'm gonna go ahead and bake this at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for seven minutes. I'm moving on to the whipped cream. What we wanna do is open up one of these cans of coconut cream that's been refrigerated overnight. And then what we wanna do is carefully scoop out the cream. And if you have any liquid, kinda of keep that in the can. You can use that somewhere else. I have my coconut cream in my mixing bowl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start to beat this. I'm gonna start at about medium speed and then I'm gonna work my way up to the high speed. I'm gonna get this till it starts to form some uh, soft peaks. 
Okay, I've got some good peaks forming on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the pinch of salt, two teaspoons of vanilla, one quarter cup of sugar. I have my whipped cream done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take out a cup of this whipped cream and I'm gonna reserve this for the filling. So I have this reserved, so I'm gonna set this aside. The rest of this I'm gonna go ahead and refrigerate. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the chocolate sauce recipe. And a pot, go ahead and turn it up to about medium. Add in one can of coconut cream, and this is a 14 ounce can. One half cup sugar, one third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, three tablespoons of coconut oil, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. Now go ahead and whisk these until all the ingredients are mixed together. What we're gonna do is whisk this constantly until the ingredients start to simmer. We're gonna turn the heat down to about medium low so it stays simmering but it's not completely boiling. And we're gonna whisk constantly for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. This is done and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down for 20 or 30 minutes and then I'm gonna put this in the condiment container. Now let's go ahead and make our filling. What we want to do is melt our chocolate chips. We want to gently melt this so I have it in a double boiler. Add in the coconut cream. And that was two cups semi-sweet vegan chocolate chips and one half cup of canned coconut cream. And I'm just going to let this melt and once everything is melted, then we're gonna go ahead and go back to the counter and finish making the pie filling. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the filling. I have my melted chocolate and coconut cream. Put this in the blender. Now I'm going to add the tofu, vanilla, and the pinch of salt. That was one teaspoon of vanilla. Now now I'm going to blend this up until it's nice and pureed and you may have to stop and scrape down the bowl move it around and we're going to do this for about a minute or until everything is nice and blended. Now that everything is blended go ahead and put this in the bowl. I have this now in the bowl now I'm going to lighten it up a little bit and so what I'm going to do is take about a third of that cup of reserved whipping cream and I'm going to gently fold it in. Do the same with the second third and then finish with the last third. I have my coconut cream folded in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in that baked graham cracker crust that we made earlier. Chocolate filling is in. I'm going to cover this with some plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator and let it set overnight. So I will see you in the morning. Good morning all. The chocolate cream pie is set up. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in the whipped cream. And the whipped cream may have settled down a little bit. You may have to re-whisk some air into it to give it some more body. And what we're gonna do is put our whipped cream on top of the pie. Doesn't that look good? Now we're gonna kind of give it a little bit of a design, a little bit of swirling action. Now I'm gonna take my chocolate sauce, and this you may have to put in some hot water for a few minutes to loosen it up. And we're gonna kind of give it a zigzag and a crisscross design. Doesn't that look good? Now we're gonna cut the pie, and if you have seen my recipes before, you know what I'm about to do next. I have some hot water, a knife, Dry off the knife, cut into the pie, put the knife back in the water. Make another cut. And we're gonna repeat this until we have cut the pie. Now I'm gonna very carefully take out a piece. This is what it's gonna look like when it's done. I really hope that this chocolate cream pie helps you have a great pie day. If you like what I do here, please consider being a patron and giving a monthly donation at patreon.com forward slash the fat vegan chef. I have other ways of donating. You can find that information out at tfvc.org forward slash donate. That's tfbc.org forward slash donate. Please be sure to like and share this video. You can find the recipe and more at thefatveganchef.com. Be sure to follow The Fat Vegan Chef at your favorite social media site. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really appreciate it and have a great pie day.